20 van Linde in de persoon die uh, komt. Ja, veel al met elkaar gesproken. Ja, Fons ja. Fons Ik ben uh, Fons Vekers, partner bij Insights Benelux. Insights uh, Benelux is uh, a company which helps companies to, uh, to increase their people effectiveness. So think of leadership, development, team development, uh, sales effectiveness, etc. And I'm partner within uh, the organization. What exactly do you do um, in your professional life, but also in your personal life, um, in terms of climate change? Started as being a concerned citizen. So within um, Insights Benelux, uh, we introduced on the 1st of January of this year, a cooperation with We Forest. So what we do is uh, we, we sell, for example, discovery profiles to our clients. That is a personality profile. And with each profile, we now commit to plant one tree. And so I think up to this month, we have planted uh, about 40,000 trees. That's like a forest. Huh? If we all would be doing that more, all these new forests, they would cool down the climate. Do you use as a coach uh, specific techniques to motivate other people to make a contribution in terms of climate change? The human psyche is, is um, for example, not able to imagine how big the disaster can become. Mm -hmm. Another aspect of the human mind is that it's, um, it's having all kinds of limiting convictions, that we are having all kinds of justifications for not changing, mm -hmm. for just doing it as we always did. And the third element is that um, when we take decisions, it's short term. We seem not to be able to have long term cost benefit analysis. And the, the time horizon has shortened. It was long. Yeah. When people were so called not so developed, they had long term horizons. The Indians, when they make important decisions, they think, how will this decision affect the next seven generations? How would you like your grandchildren to remember you? You were that kind of generation who was so short-term consumerism mm -hmm. that they didn't care that there will be two billion people having to find a new place to live in 100 years. What do you expect from the climate conference in Paris? The climate uh, conference in, in Paris, I have a very strong expectation that it should go for zero fossil fuels in 2050. 100% renewable energy in 2050. If we would be able to have that as a vision, that would trigger a lot of new developments where industries know what is the kind of future they may help construct. It will unleash incredibly creativity. It will create employment. It will be difficult, but it is a moment of truth. So. I would like to invite all the leaders and all the, the citizens of the world to put pressure on the leaders to make that vision come true. Thank you for your time. Yeah, veel success with your project. Thank you. Uh, can we make a photo? Okay, smile. Lachen.